Hello everyone. Today, Kiran and I will be presenting our idea of using near-infrared technology and machine learning as a rapid way to detect hazards in aquatic foods. The inclusion of diverse, nutritious and safe foods in diets is a vital part of food security and a major development goal of the UN. Fish and other aquatic foods play key roles in the food system, supplying protein to more than 3 billion people. But aquatic foods are easily perishable, so food hazards remain a major risk to poor and vulnerable communities. According to a global food security and nutrition report, 2 billion people lack access to safe and sufficient food year-round, with the latest COVID-19 pandemic leaving those food systems even more vulnerable. Rapid hazard detection is the first step towards getting safe foods for consumption. Aquatic foods can be contaminated in different ways, for example, through preservatives such as formalin, antibiotic residues, or exposure to pesticides. These hazards can be harmful to the health of consumers and local farming communities, making regular monitoring necessary. Till now, we have been solely dependent on expensive and lengthy lab tests for detection. So how can we make detection of aquatic food hazards more accessible and affordable to benefit small producers and value chain actors? We propose an integrated tool combining near-infrared technology with an existing cloud platform called Discovery, which trains algorithms to predict quantitative values from raw NIR data. We'll first begin model calibration by analyzing gradual levels of contaminated aquatic food samples in the lab. Raw IR data from these samples are collected using our point-and-shoot device and sent to the Discovery platform for algorithm training. The more data we capture, the higher the model accuracy. Upon optimization, end users can access all predictions in real time using Discovery's mobile phone app. Kiran from Zen Spectra will give you a walkthrough of this process. The platform architecture consists of near-infrared sensors and edge processors, which collect and send NIR spectral data to the connected mobile via the Bluetooth. Mobile app synchronizes spectral data scans with cloud NoSQL data stores. The data is then processed and visualized with Google App Engine application and cluster of TensorFlow AI processing backbone. The device will be able to work offline, remotely and storing data on mobile memory which will be then synchronized with the cloud upon internet access. There is a geolocation sensing facility inbuilt in the application which can be used for map-based analytics and pinpointing the scan locations. Our device works in four simple steps. Number one, collection of training data sets in a controlled environment. Number two, calibration of AI model on discovery platform using these data sets where the best AI TensorFlow model is determined for spectral feature sets. Number three, deployment of selected AI model to the mobile app for blind testing and validation. Step four, once the, once the model is approved for accuracy, the AI model is then deployed for field use. Thank you. Thanks, Kiran. Our innovation is a powerful surveillance tool for hazards within the aquatic food system. If selected, we will have mapped trends of value chains from farm to consumer and more baseline data for regulators to form and enforce effective food safety policies. We can limit contingency measures to hazard points and avoid disrupting the entire supply chain. This will prevent unsafe products from reaching consumers and reduce the risk to distributors and retailers. Small-scale producers will benefit by gaining better quality products, public trust and stronger market resilience. Ultimately, we will have better access to healthy, safe, nutritious aquatic foods. Our tool is widely adaptable to every level of the food system, providing high potential for future One Health applications, perhaps even for determining safety from COVID-19 contamination. Thank you all for listening.